Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you part three of my library book sale haul. So today these are going to be um, just, um, how do I say, they're kind of a wide range of books. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first book I have here is A Field Guide to Western Birds. Now I picked this up for my good friend Clarissa because she loves to bird watch. And um, yeah, it's got great pictures in there, you know, with um, the identification and, you know, explains, I guess, um, what uh, groups the birds are from and stuff. So I'm going to send her this book. Now this one right here is a complete guide, um, complete book of the garden from Reader's Digest. So I picked this one up because I do like the Reader's Digest, um, I forgot what you call them. They're like those compilations, um, books of stories and stuff. One year they were just literally giving them away because they had gotten so many donations. They had a big stash of them at the door, by the door on your way out. And there was a big sign saying, free books, take as many as you want, you know? And we already had some, we did take some that year, but um, the following year when they had it again, I, I didn't get any because it was just like, we don't need any more. So um, I thought this was interesting because I didn't know that they had um, you know, books like this. So my mom is a big time gardener and, um, you know, I told her about this book when I got home and she's probably, probably going to go ahead and, um, keep it. But I just like the illustrations in there. And, um, this is a pretty thick book. Now my mom primarily does a lot of like vegetable gardening. She does have a lot of house plants. So this is actually kind of um, nice because it does have, you know, info about both. So it's a pretty old book, pretty thick. Next book we have here is Sewing Made Easy. Um, so I like this one too, because very simple illustrations. Uh, I do have a couple of sewing books, you know, Look at that. I love those illustrations. So I'm going to probably cut these up. I'm not sure. This was <laughs> signed in 1965. And let's see when this was published. Um, this was published. Mm, once again, Roman numerals, uh, LX. I can't think of what L is, but anyways, Next book, Watkins um, Cookbook. So this is one of those like spiral bound books. I think the Betty Crocker ones are similar to this too. So I didn't really spend a lot of time in the cookbook section. There were just too many people there. And you know, I don't really um, need any more cookbooks, but this one caught my eye because it's just pretty old. And I do like looking at um, some of the recipes that were popular at the time. So what did I just see sour milk? <laughs> Actually, let me see if I can find it. Oh, I should show this to my mom. She just made banana um, bread yesterday, but this one's banana nut. So I should probably do that. Fruit coffee cake, mm. sour milk griddle cakes. Wow. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty interesting. And I mean, this is really old, so doesn't say when it was published, unless it's in the back. I mean, it's already falling apart. Yeah. And then this book here, um, it was placed in the, with the music books, which I thought that was kind of odd. So this one is called Other People's Love Letters, 150 Letters You Were Never Meant to See. So um, it's in really good condition. I feel like this is a book that I would probably find like at Dollar Tree, you know. Um, but yeah, these are actual letters. I guess, I don't know, maybe they were submitted, you know. And I just thought this was interesting. So look at that. There's a telegram. Long wishes, loving wishes for Christmas and a new year. You are more than ever in my thoughts at this time. All my loved Hattie. So you've got emails, you've got 
Look at this, wanted ASAP. Pretty girl, nice ass, breathtaking eyes, sweet voice, great style, great smile, good cook, smells like spring, etc. Call this guy. It's kind of funny. Um, yeah, pretty interesting book. So we got that. Let's move this to the side here. Okay, so let's get to this part. Okay, I'm going to put this one aside for right now. So we have um, more gardening books. This one I liked because of the cover, Gardening with Houseplants. And once again, my mom claimed it. I bought it because I was going to use, tear it up, but she's like, nope, want it. Basic Vegetable Gardening Guide. Another one where I like the cover, but she's like, nope, gonna read it. As if she needs to read. I mean, she's like a master gardener. She already knows how everything she throws in the ground pretty much grows. Pruning. Now, I did the, get this one for her because um, she does need to prune, learn how to prune a lot of stuff. So that's for her. Another houseplant book, Care of the House Plants. Um, yeah, so. Rocky Mountain Wallflowers. This one is going to Clarissa, your junk journal stuff. I'm gonna set that one aside. Um, here's some more wildflowers. Okay. Now this one's also for Clarissa. She did tell me she needed an atlas. Um, so well, of course I opened it right to the Philippines. Um, Pretty old. Another one. Uh, this is Motoring Atlas Great Britain in Ireland. So I thought this was interesting. So um, I wonder how much of it has changed since this was published. So probably give some of that also to Clarissa. I found this on the last day of the bag sale. It's a, a Fortune ma magazine from 1946. So look at how nicely they, the pages have aged and look at all of the um, ads. So yeah, I was very happy to find this. Um, I wish there had been more because, you know, probably just make copies, I mean, scan and copy the um the ads and stuff and this is pretty big you know so like here's my phone it's like a 6.9 inch so um this is huge and then the last one here this one is um a gardener's catalog so i got this on yeah also the last day and if, actually this was the first thing that i picked up and I, I went on the last day with the intention of like not really buying a lot of books um, so I could use, like, make use of the $3 bag. But because it was so big, it wouldn't fit in the $3 bag. So I ended up having to upgrade to the $5 bag because of that. Um, and then, of course, I found this one. So, yeah, I, I, I had to. Um, it is an old gardener's catalog. Um, this one. How old is this? Okay. 1974 so you know got it has a lot of information and then a lot of illustrations I don't know how I would be able to scan it because it's so big um, but I guess yeah you'd be able to order they still have a lot of gardening catalogs that you can mail order catalogs because um, my parents get a lot of those and from time to time, my mom will order something if, you know, she wants to try. Oh, sorry. It's out of the frame there. If she wants to try, you know, like a, a different type of tomato or flowers and stuff. So, yeah, this one, definitely amazing. Um, I don't know if I can scan and sell these images. Probably not. But still... This was a definitely an amazing find. So yeah, that is all of the books that I got from my local library sale. Um, now, last piece. So they had a big stack of um, National Geographic inserts. You know, if you've ever subscribed to National Geographic, there's always like this type of an insert in the magazine. 
every month. So I went through all of them. I must have been like the first person to go through all of them because um, they st they had tons of it. And yeah, so I just picked and choose what I wanted. And this was still part of the bag sale, so I did not have to pay, you know, separately for them. So we've got middle medieval England, the Middle East conflict. Um, I picked this because I wanted to read it. Um, colonization and trade of the new world. There might be some doubles in here. Spain and Portugal, Quebec, World War II, Europe and North Africa. Now I will say I deliberately did not get anything really about the U.S. There's no point. I wanted mostly all international. Um, Celtic Europe. This is Millennium in Maps Exploration, Historical France, New England. Now I did, this is the U.S., but this is um, mostly about, you know, history. Um, Germany, this one I got for Clarissa, Hawaii with the birds. Let me put that to the side. Peoples of South, A South Asia, Peoples of the Arctic, Australia, Britain and Ireland, China, Europe, so I got two Europe's, so one to Clarissa, um, more, another historical France, Holy Land, my mom went there, so I really got that for her, Asia Pacific, I think this is just a map, yeah, New York City, um, yeah, I know, but still, another traveler's map of Britain and Ireland, so she gets that. The Philippines, I probably got like three of those, so I'm giving Peoples of the Soviet Union, so you can tell this is pretty old. 1976. Jerusalem, got that for my mom. Indonesia. The Greeks, got that for my niece, because she's totally into Greek mythology and stuff. History of Europe, the major turning points. Japan, because I need that for my Japan insert. Historical um, Italy. This one is pretty old. That's why I picked it. It's just the political and physical world map. This is from 1975. Another Japan. This one I think is on Yellowstone and Great Teton. Grand Teton, excuse me. Um, the, his the historic Mediterranean. I think this is another... Um, 1988, it's just another, oh, here we go, Endangered Earth. Okay. And then this one is, I think it's just another map. It's kind of hard to tell. Ooh, look at that. And I was wondering why it was sticky. Somebody's poster tack, oh crap, is still on there. Wow. And then the last one here is the Alps. So yeah, it was kind of funny because I was going through these and my stack kept getting higher, like taller and taller. And this person that was standing next to me looking at um, the other, you know, geography stuff noticed I was going through it and was just like standing there waiting for me to go to get done. And I literally walked away with, I would say probably about a third of what they had there. It's like, hey, you know, you snooze, you lose. First come, first serve. So yeah. Those are all the books that I got from um, the local library sale. So there is a part four because I did go to the main library book sale, but I didn't get as many books, but I will go ahead and film that. Okay, so I, have, I hope everybody is having a great day and a great weekend. All right, bye. Mm -hmm.